So I guess there's enough light now to see my beautiful face. Ugly. <clears throat> yeah, so I actually had a, a thought for real. And I was like, you know, people that are watching this all three to 14 of you, um, you, if you're preppers, and I'm sure you're just net stalkers, but it, for the two preppers that are watching this, um, you probably have a billion cans and your dry food, uh, you know what I'm talking about, but, uh, you gotta look to your natural resources too, so food will last, natural disasters will wipe that stuff out though, um, if you need to evacuate, you may be in a situation where you wind up in an unexpected place. It's just the way that things can happen. And uh, the fact is it also saves you money, but uh, you got to look at strategic resources. So I think there's a tr two, two major transfers for preppers. There are the uh, people who grow into it. Um, I don't even know what the result of Cub Scouts International um, or America, whatever, Boy Scouts, um, all that dying. Um, so with that in mind, that uh, you may have the situation where some people don't have an awareness of the world around them. They see trees as things with leaves. They don't see trees as things that are edible products. Again, if you live in an area, and most of you probably don't, where temperature drops below freezing, like they have a spring season and a fall season where it goes below freezing, then uh, you probably have you know, 14 varieties of trees they give you a certain amount. You can't take too much once they're big enough, like eight plus inches. You can do it. That's if you want the tree to survive, which if you're not using it for firewood, you probably want the tree to survive. You take care for your trees. Um, so just realize that some leaves can be edible in certain quantities or make teas. They may have medicinal values. All the masts and fruits, some may not look like apples, but really like inedible things, they can provide you with food or uh, materials like tannic acid, which tannic acid has uses too, uh, like in dyeing furs if you don't have textile industries. Uh, excuse me, it was horrible today. Had acid indigestion, I think it was all that uh, toxic water I drank. Speaking of which, if you drink toxic water, um, a short-term solution may be something like baking soda, just in case you're a nuclear radiator or something and you don't want to uh, be in pain when you die. Um, <clears throat> that said, um, flowers, plants, um, concrete is not generally seen as edible. Um, so you're pretty much SOL for concrete. Uh, bricks, steel, although it could be tasty, could uh, provide a little bit of flavor. Um, generally speaking, though, not edible. Um, I think for any scenario where people um, are starving to death, um, either they'll have support or they'll lay down and die, or they'll leave. Um, I think a lot of people bank on uh, homeless camps and stuff like that which causes police crackdowns, although it may take 40 years in places like LA. Um, it's happening uh, where some places are legitimized, refugee camps, so on and so forth, where, believe it or not, there's more and more <laughs> refugees every year, um, which isn't a good sign because we haven't hit the climate crisis yet. So, yeah, practice. Um... All that said, I did want to start this one up just simply to say I could demonstrate. Maybe I'll demonstrate uh, next week or something. Um, I won't demonstrate in Russia, though. 
You got it. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you, there's all this natural resource that people don't even see, and it's already grown. It comes back every year. You don't have to plant it. Same with that dock stuff. So uh, I left one dock plant in my uh, garden. They provide me with a cup of flour, you know. So, or it could provide me with 50 dock plants next year or two years from now, I guess. <sighs> All that said, I think uh, I'm satisfied.